Okay, hi, this is uh, Mr. Giles, and we're going to do a paint.net tutorial, the basics um, using tools. Okay, so here are the basic tools. You have your tool palette. If you don't see your tool palette, you go up in the upper right-hand corner here, and there's a little hammer, and you click that on and off, or you can press F5. And I'll turn that on and off. You can do the same with layers and colors. Colors and tools are what you're going to need the most today. To use the tools, the basic one, it starts with a paintbrush and it starts with just basic black and you can, you know, draw whatever you want. I'm going to draw just amazing stick figure here. Yep, amazing. So, um, but to do some more advanced things, let's, let's start messing around with the options. You've got all these options. So if I change to tools, you'll see that the options up here also change. And um, the different tools have different options. So the paintbrush is the one we want to start with. I want to start with a thicker brush. And that gives me uh, the ability to, there we go, I'll add that hair. And you can change the hardness of the brush. So you can see it's kind of got a fuzzy, fuzzy edge. So if I make it even softer, okay, or if I make it harder, you can see how strong and dark that is. So to get that fuzzy, kind of almost like it's out of focus look, you can change the hardness. It's preset to uh, somewhere in the 50s or 60s. Um, you can also change the, the kind of brush you have by selecting one of these. For example, I can pick four diagonals and look at that. It, it'll paint a pattern. So you can actually paint a pattern onto the screen, which is pretty cool. You can do lots of things with that. I could give him like a like a stubble on his face. Um, so experiment with that. Now I haven't even messed with the color. So if I do the color, it'll do the same thing. It'll just do it with a with a different color. I can change my colors. I can change the hardness so that it, it appears stronger. Um, that's just with the brush tool. The next tool I really like is the uh, paint bucket tool. The paint bucket tool will fill every spot that is the same color on your screen. So for example, um, if I click here, it's going to fill with that that shape everywhere that's touching. I'm going to undo that with Control Z. You guys should be familiar with Control Z. And I'm going to uh, change this back to solid color. Okay, and I'm going to pick a solid color like a blue. And I can just fill that all in and it fills in everything that's touching. So because there's even openings in the blue, that is really cool. I really like how that looks. Um, you get a lot of different options with that. You can change how strong it will fill. So if I click here, it'll fill everything because the tolerance is 100%. I can change that tolerance so it fills, it's not as strong in filling in. You see how things kind of open up as I release that. You can even see the edges here. Um, it fills in, it's like a stronger fill in. Okay. You can also fill in with, you know, horizontal. So I'm going to go change this until you hit enter. Now that looks like it's lined paper. If you hit enter, it commits your uh, whatever it is you just did. It'll commit that, that coloring. Well, that's interesting. When I drag this over, it affects that area. Oh, that's cool. I've never done that before. Hit enter. Um, so it'll fill that in, and then I could change that and move it. See that the tip? There's a little tiny dot. You can see it. It's right on the eyeball right now in the nose. Okay? And I can move that, and it will affect the area that that little tip is on when you drag this around. That is super cool. I've never, I've never even done that. Um, so that's the basics of uh, using your, your tools and, and you have all these options. I would suggest sticking with your solid color um, and notice that change because I didn't hit enter. I'm gonna hit enter. If you ever have a problem where you're, th this is the other thing you can do, selections. Okay, you have several selection tools. You have the circular selection tool and I can use the blue arrow and that will let me grab see that I just pulled that thing right out of there I can move it around um, and then you have I don't even know what this is what is this what is that oh I can rotate it how fun is that so you can move it you can click and then if you put your arrow to the side you'll see it's like an arrow that's like at an angle and if you grab it you can you can rotate I can put it back I can hit enter once you hit enter I can always undo control Z. If I didn't like any of that, I can control Z until it's back where I wanted it. There we go. I have this selection tool. This is the uh, lasso selection tool and it, it, you can lasso around anything and you can do some really weird stuff if you kind of cut back and forth here and then let's say I move that. It's going to move 
like the chunks of things, okay? I'm gonna hit enter, control Z, because I don't want that right now. Um, and then you have the, the square selection tool, okay? And it's, you know, it makes a square or a rectangle. And you can use the blue arrow to move that item around. So why don't you experiment with that? Try a few of those tools and uh, we'll get more into paint.net as we move along. Have a great day. Mr. Giles signing out.